How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? And I bet you've guessed it. It's review time. And the piece of gear that I'm going to be reviewing today is going to be the Kamanga Military Compass. So why don't I bring you in closer so we can give this piece of gear a thorough look over. Now that I got you in close, I will remind you that I will be leaving a link in the description so you can check out all the technical specs of this particular compass. This is the Model 27, and to make it a little bit more clear, it is the phosphorescent model. But this is how it came to me. It did have a little tiny sheet in here that I have committed to memory and, and I threw away, but it was basically a very beginner's guide of how to use the compass, and I strongly suggest that you pick up a larger, more in-depth book um, maybe watch some YouTube videos, or even better yet, go take an orienteering or na land navigational class. You can find them at REI, different outfitters, for a very inexpensive price, if not for free. Uh, so you can really understand how to use your compass. That being said, let's talk about the positives. I always like when, like I say, I like when something comes with a case. This case isn't bad. Uh, it's got this Alice clip in the back. I think maybe if I slit this one area here, I could maybe convert this to Molly. The snap is nice and strong. It's, it's not going to open up on you, drain hole. Um, it does the job if you don't want to have the compass in your pocket. If you'd rather have it on your belt or on your pack, it works. It does it. And it's just nice that it comes along with it. Another positive is that it is not liquid filled. There's no water, there's no oil in here. And that's a positive because temperature drops, extreme, especially extreme cold and extreme hot, will not affect the viscosity of the liquid inside your compass. There's gonna be no bubbles. And, and those things will not interfere with the accuracy of your compass. And that is super important because one degree off of your bearing, uh, only going out maybe 500 yards, not a big deal. 500 miles, you're off by a lot, and, and you want to mitigate, minimize uh, those inaccuracies. Another positive, if you notice, this is spinning freely. It's pointing to north, which apparently is that way. But if we close down this sight, it pins the wheel. And I don't know if you can see it, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to spin this this way, and I'm going to open it back up. And there you go went back to north. It pins it, and that's super important too. It's a great plus because this compass bouncing around on your belt, in your pocket, on your pack, your pack falls, you fall out of your canoe, all this stuff, it, it, can, it could jumble this around and could damage the compass inside. And by this being pinned, it's secure, it's gonna be safe, it's gonna stay accurate and true. And then last is that, as you can see, it's already open here, but it can be used very well with a map. And not all compasses come with the scale on the side, so you can start drawing your path, and that is a great plus. Now let's talk about the negatives. First negative, maybe for some people, not for me, but... It's a bit bulky. It's got some weight to it. It might be a little bit uh, too bulky for some people, hanging around your neck or, or in your pocket. So we'll, we'll call that negative, um, even though it ain't gonna break on you. Uh, the other negative is that I believe the price was around $60, $70. That's a, that's a little steep. And then another negative is that there's no way of changing the, the declination when you're, when you're changing different areas in your map. And that's, you can get around that, but that, that could be a little bit of a negative. Actually, that's not really my only true negative about this compass is you cannot change the magnetic declination. I chose the phosphore, uh, phosphorescent model so I will have to use a flashlight to charge this up to see it at night. So I will have to be careful about light discipline, but I chose that. So I'm not going to make that a negative or positive because you can also buy this with the tritium, which is, you know, the radioactive glowing stuff on your sights and whatnot. And that glows all the time. But that also wear, will wear out over time. So again, main ne negative is that you cannot change the declination. 
And that is what I think about the Kamenga Military Compass. And if you enjoyed this review, please do subscribe because there's going to be more reviews, bots, pioneer preps, and Bug Out Boy episodes along the way. And if you have any questions or comments about this particular piece of gear, please leave those down below in the comment section because I love reading them and you know I'm going to get back to you. So till then, take care.